The replicas who practice scope is in three parts, lamp house, mechanism and the lens unit. Inside we have a modern LED lighting unit, 50 watts. And we cover the top with some card to stop the light spill. And that's how it turns around. The shutter disc. Some chunky gears. You only see a slot on the screen. There's a fake lens at the front and the real ones at the back. And this is a plastic replica disc that I made in 1992 using overhead projector transparencies. Fit that to the shutter disc. And there's an aspect ratio system to change the shape of the picture. That's operated by a lever. Moves in and out two plates. And there we go. It's possible to change the sharpness of the image by adjusting the slots between the two parts of the shutter disc. The original machine had this kind of crank wheel. With some internet research I discovered it was from a 1879 Singer sewing machine. Managed to get this one from about 1897. The original machine had gearing on the crank. The replica doesn't, it doesn't matter. I ordered two acrylic discs and I had to cut a large hole in the middle of them. So we got those holes done. And then I had an acetate sheet printed up with the elephant image. Steel tube slipped over the uh, shaft, drive shaft and that wheel fits pretty well. Hacksaw, short piece cut off and tidied up that uh, fitted over some shim and then a collar on the end hold everything together with a handle added. And the old pulley wheel that we don't need is stored in the base of the mechanism. This is prone to fingerprints, this bare brass. The original was painted black. With the shutter disc removed, you can see how this picture shape mechanism works. It's operated by a lever. You can see there's screw holes above and below the lever. And if we actually look at a very old photograph of the Zupraxiscope original, we can see one of the screws still in place. The screws were never fitted to the replica, so I've added this stop. Otherwise the mechanism falls apart. On the original, there was a crank handle here and a fixing unit. And that crank handle moved the internal mechanism and the disc up and down so you could align it for a particular subject. And here we are on the original, you can see it on this side. However, on the replica, it's on the other side. And I think they've done that because if it was here, with the modern electric motor, which had a drive belt, it would have got in the way. Little cap for the end there. That's now finished. And the finished silhouette elephant disc. Copy of one of the 16 inch discs. We're working from medium format transparencies. You can see that the actual size of an individual elephant is just a few millimeters. You can also see that some of the original paint on the disc had fallen off over the hundred and more years. Um, 
Here's a cardboard top I've made to stop the light spill. We've got the light going inside there. And so let's see what happens with this disc. Pretty good. The black bar that you see is an artifact of the video camera shutter. You don't see that for real. Mybridge's original audiences saw photographs projecting first static photographs and then they saw the movement in the painted silhouette. So they had the detail with the stills and the lifelike motion with the moving silhouettes from the Zupraxiscope.